Hey everybody, it's Mergle, and today in this one I'll be covering some things you should do to wrap up Legion. Now there's a couple obvious ones like get the Chosen title, finish your Mage Tower, and get the Violet Spellwing, but I'm going to try and cover some things that I feel like might not be as obvious. Anyways, let's get into it. So first things first, materials and random gear. Start dumping them, like right now. The pre-patch is estimated to drop around July 17th. This means the mass amount of people who are buying up huge supplies to do their mage tower attempts are going to stop after this point. Now there's no guarantee it's July 17th, it's just the most likely date, which means this is the deadline for you to get artifact skins um, challenge modes completed, as well as kind of an expiration date on a lot of the Legion materials. That's not to be said that some won't still sell, as people are going to be clearing Antorus till the exact end of the expansion, but still the demand is going to just plummet, because these people that are constantly dying in the Mage Tower are pretty much what's buying a lot of the food materials, potion materials, everything, because they're using so many for all their attempts. Um, yeah, it's gonna just plummet, because, you know, raiders use a lot too, but... I feel like if you just look at the Mage Tower, how many people are funneling it right now, it's it's where all the materials are going. So at this point, I would scavenge all your alts. If you're like me, um, you get some stuff on your alt and then you throw it in the bank and forget that it ever even existed. <laughs> I found stacks of herbs, ores, potions, flasks, materials, I mean you name it, I've just found it sitting on alts and wondered when I got that and put it in there. No idea. So check their reagent banks. You never know. You never know what you might have done at some point. Make sure you do a full sleep in the next couple days. Just check everybody. Gather up those things and start selling them um, before July 17th, in my opinion. On the note of materials, let's talk about order resources. A while back, all order halls got an update to their vendor which allowed you to swap 5,000 order resources for 5 blood of Sargeras. If any of you are out there hoarding hundreds, maybe even m hundreds of thousands, millions, you could have a lot of order resources at this point, I'm certain of it. And you might want to just start buying bloods for the sake of dumping materials while they're worth a lot now. I would give yourself a stash of maybe 20k resources just to keep sending gold missions till the end of Legion. Again, there's no guaranteed information on this, but I'm mainly using the garrison as kind of a template on how they will likely handle the order hall mission table. First, I think they're going to get rid of all gold missions, and they probably will even do this in the pre-patch update before Battle for Azeroth. Second, they're gonna replace any of the gold missions as well as follower perks or anything at all that was providing actual gold with probably an order hall resource reward. That means post update you'll probably never have to collect resources outside of your order hall because missions will provide you with a constant supply. That's my guess, there's no, no information on this, this is my guess. And then number three, with an infinite resource supply, everyone's alt, they're gonna get a good chance that the supplies will plummet because I'm guessing they would keep the blood of Sargeras swapping thing despite giving order resource resources as a reward from the order hall which means that everybody's just gonna have an infinite supply of materials pretty much with all the order resources coming into the game and all those could be swap swapped for bloods etc 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 and then you have a huge supply with very little demand for any kind of material pretty much so, if you have a bunch of order resources right now on all your characters, my recommendation, go swap for bloods and go sell the materials while they're still worth something. Again, there's no guarantee on this information, but we can really look at the garrison and see how they handle that and pretty much guess that they're probably going to do the same thing with the order hall. It would be silly to keep like 2,000, 3,000 gold missions <laughs> because you'd have no reason to make your alt sleeve legion pretty much and anyways lastly on the topic of the order hall once more sell all of your follower equipment weapons all those random junk um that stuff when the garrison went and updated 
it went from being worth a couple gold to copper. All of those garrison upgrades. So, I'm guessing, Legion, it's going to do the same thing. In Battle for Azeroth update, all of your random equipment is going to be worth coppers afterwards. It's not a huge difference, right? I mean, it's a few gold per item. Not, not a massive amount, but if they're just rotting in your bags right now because you keep forgetting to sell them or you have no use for them at this point, just do it while it's on your mind right now. Vendor all of your follower equipment junk. Another thing you possibly do is hoard a few of the toys, pets, collectibles, any of the other stuff that come from the order hall in Legion, um, assuming you can get them really cheap right now. It takes a while, but those things really do go up a lot in price. Um, a lot of the stuff that I bought from Wad for, gosh, like one to two gold each, they're worth like 50 gold now. I mean, it's not a huge amount, right? But after time, everything becomes worth a lot more. So more money ain't a bad thing, right? <laughs> so just if you can get a couple things for really cheap from the uh, mission table and stuff, go ahead and buy those things up. Anyways, I tried to cover some things I thought might not be so obvious. Uh, there's maybe others out there. Like, do a lot of the group Legion content right now while you can, such as the fishing friend achievements, because fishing's gonna be a lot slower. It's not gonna be impossible post Legion, but they sure do make a lot of things easier when a whole bunch of people are there. Um, hope this gave you some ideas, and I hope y'all drop some comments down below of things you might think aren't so obvious, but are really smart to do right now to wrap up Legion. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again real soon. Bye bye